Hello, First Covenant Church family. Uh, wanted to give you an update, as maybe you've already read or seen on the church app or the newsletter. The uh, elder board at First Covenant Church made the very difficult decision that uh, we are going to be suspending for a short time our gatherings, our live gatherings here at First Covenant and moving our corporate Sunday worship just to being uh, solely online. In this, we're going to start on November 29th, which also, of course, is the beginning of Advent. Uh, we know that this is uh, hard. It feels absolutely like a step backwards. And, and we do this not out of fear, but really we made this decision because we care deeply for our community. And when uh, the health officials in our community are asking us to practice uh, more stringent measures of social distancing and to avoid gathering in larger crowds and to wear face masks and to wash our hands, all because they recognize that case numbers are on the rise. And with that comes the danger of overflowing our hospitals. So we do this out of an act of care and love for our community. We want to see everybody who is infected with this disease, if they are in need of care, to be able to receive the care that they are seeking. And so we're taking this temporary step back, and we know it's painful. But I would also invite us in this time to approach Advent with fresh eyes. Uh, maybe, a, maybe look at Advent in a way that we've never experienced it before. And I believe that as we enter into that, to, to experience this, this waiting and this anticipation for the coming of Jesus, that we would do so under the backdrop of uncertainty, under the backdrop of crisis, under the backdrop of disappointment and failure and resentment and fear. Because the miracle of Christmas is that God himself God would choose to enter into our mess, the incarnate God among us. That is the, the hope, that is the, that is the promise, that is the celebration of Christmas. And Advent is the preparation of that. And while this is going to look different for us this year than it has for any other year, I am asking you to be open to what it is that the Holy Spirit is wanting to teach you and to teach us together as First Covenant Church in this time of preparation. We hope that this is a short period and that we can be back together again soon. But in the meantime, let's each of us commit to taking this season and asking God to take us into a deeper relationship with him that we might go further in our mission. Will you do that together? That's my prayer. Thanks for listening.